Hello everyone, in this Bootstrap 4 video we're going to look at cards within Bootstrap. So cards are a flexible and extensible content container. It allows you to put headers, footers and a variety of other content. They're great for showcasing something off, maybe you have an image, title, a description, maybe a link to a product for example. So if you're a game developer or an application developer on your website, you want to just showcase a few different products that you've done, you can use cards. Cards are a great way of displaying some content very nicely in a minimalistic way. So in this video we're just going to cover the basics of cards because there's a lot to do with cards and there'll be separate videos covering all the other features. So to get started just create a div tag. This has a class of card and inside here we're just going to put an image tag and for the actual image itself I've got a link here this is from the bootstrap website this is what they use and this is just a 318 by 180 pixel gray image that has a bit of text on it it doesn't look kind of special but it basically gets the job done and illustrates what we're trying to do so it's great for that let's add a class and i'm going to add card-img-top and now just add an alt attribute and for this I'm just going to put card image now we're going to add a div tag and this div tag is going to have a class of card dash block inside here I'm going to have a h tag again you can do it however you want you don't have to have a h4 you don't even have to have a h tag the beauty of these components are they are customizable. So if you don't want an image, don't put an image in there. If you want a H1 tag, put a H1 tag in there. If you want if you want styling, apply styling. It's what you want. Class card dash title. And inside I'm just gonna put this is a title. It's like the best title ever. I'm gonna put a P tag. And for this, I'm going to put card-text. Oh, sorry. That should be the class. Class equals card-text. And in here, we're just, just going to put some random text. Actually, misspelled that. And for that, what I'm going to do is just go to Google and type in random paragraph. It's like going on this website and re generating random paragraph for tutorials yeah that seems a okay so just copy that paste it in between these p tags now we have our random paragraph and we're gonna add a button as well obviously you can add different types of buttons but we're just gonna keep it simple can add a class as well btn and um, btn dash mm, success yeah, and for this I'm just going to put http forward slash forward slash sonarsystem.co.uk Save it, go to our web browser, refresh Okay, that hasn't quite worked out Something about it has... Oops, a daisy and, da, 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 and in here I should say sorry have button there you go that fixes that. that was just a mistake on my part so here we go we've got our container I mean our card got our image title our text and our button we might be thinking it's expanded to the entire width of the browser or the web page or the parent container I should say and it has and to overcome that you have to apply a max width to this card element aka the most root element for the card I'm going to do some inline styling and max dash width obviously this would generally depend on like the type of image you got how wide you want it I know with the content I've got 319 pixels looks good so if we just go back refresh there you go we've got a nice looking card that we can showcase an image let's say the ga a game title, some description about our game 
and then a button which could take us to the web page to download or play our game or check out what we're highlighting and showcasing using cards. There will be more videos showcasing all the different features of cards because like I said there's quite a bit to cover. It's more than really what one video should be. If you have any questions about this or anything else in Bootstrap or programming in general, feel free to post them at sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php There'll be a link in the description to that. There'll be another link in the description as well to the source code from this video and source code from every other video in this series. Please rate, comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free. Plus it helps us grow and provide more content to you on a regular basis which is good for everyone. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.